Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV as we join members of the Florida Power Boat Club on the Key West Poker Run. We're down at the docks at Sea Al Marina in Miami where Jackie Jones and her staff have plenty of fresh coffee and bagels ready as the teams prepare for the Thursday run from Miami to Key West. Altogether, over 150 teams are registered for this big poker run event. Welcome to our second big day of the 20th annual Key West Offshore Poker Run, and we have got a fantastic day planned here in Miami with over 80 power boats getting ready to leave a Sea Isle Marina and head 170 miles to Key West. My shirt says staff, so I'm not just a high-priced celebrity. I actually work for the Florida Power Boat Club, and I'm working today. I'm going to get on a brand new Nortec. We're going to head down to Key Largo, then Isla Mirada, through the scenic Florida Keys, all the way to Key West. A lot of big high-performance boats here, cats and V-bottoms of all descriptions and this is probably the best collection of high performance hardware you're going to see anywhere in this country on this given day in November. We've got a fantastic group here, people from all over the country, people from all over the world. This is truly an international event. I got guys that came all the way from Germany here just to attend this poker run this weekend. By the way guys, thanks for the shirt. So I think everybody's all revved up and primed up. We've got about a half hour here before we set off the docks to head south. I think everybody's ready to go. We're having coffee and bagels on the dock, and we're getting ready for the 20th annual, a big celebration, the Key West Offshore Poker Run. Let's go, everybody! Safety is a top priority on these poker run events, and every evening there's a one-hour captain's meeting where we welcome our new members, review the safety guidelines, and go over the critical navigation on this 170-mile trip. It also gave one of our sponsors a chance to show off some of the great poker run prizes that would be awarded later that week. Now let's take a closer look at some of the boats attending today's run and talk to one of our captains. We're riding in a 50-foot uh, Nortec. We've got uh, triple uh, Ron Potter 850 supercharged uh, engines. Uh, they've given us no problem at all. We're expecting a flawless day. Great weather like we have today. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> There's a huge cabin below in this 50-foot Nortec, which is always a big hit with the ladies, and it just so happens Bob is in good company today with his wife, Al, and two new crew members. But these gals aren't just there to look pretty. They proved right from the start they know how to handle the lines and make their captain proud. You know, it just occurred to me why our videographer may have selected this particular boat to ride along today. One thing's very certain about Team Artemis. They're always aware about the importance of safety, and I must commend Bob on communicating this with his crew. With just over 80 powerboats attending today, the morning kicked off with this very impressive powerboat parade taking place through downtown Miami from the cruise ship terminal to Rickenbacker Causeway, which is our gateway to the open waters of Biscayne Bay. Wearing of life jackets is mandatory on all Florida Powerboat Club runs, but only while the boats are underway or at speed. When you're idling through the port, you don't have to wear them. This is where all the high performance fun is about to begin. And with the helicopter arriving to capture the money shots, it's time to signal the start. There are three speed classes on today's run. Sport boat class, which is 50 to 60 miles per hour. Performance, which is 60 to 100 miles per hour. And any boats running over 100 miles an hour at cruising speeds are considered the high performance class. Today we're flying with Bravo helicopters from Miami with a Robinson R44, which will be flying at its maximum capabilities to keep up with these fast machines. Starting things off, this is John Rosati in his 50-foot cigarette Marauder, powered by Big Mercury Racing 1350s. Glenn Kennedy is from Wisconsin. He's running this 43-foot Outer Limits called Team Holy Smoke. Here's Gary Smith all the way from Arizona with this colorful 40-foot skater. He said Key West was on his poker run bucket list and he can't wait to come back next year. Randy Kent is from Missouri. He's here with this 44-foot MTI sponsored by Marine Concepts, a company that manufactures and distributes high-end boat covers. 
Here's another MTI. Red Eye Express belongs to Ron Zolak from Michigan, who's attended this run many times. There's a nice angle from the GoPro camera in the chopper as videographer Bruno captures the money shot of Michael Merritt in this one-of-a-kind 45-foot cigarette called Meritorious. The Key West Poker Run continues when we return for our final segment of Power Boating in Paradise TV.